what can I do in stable diffusion? There are as many things as there are creative people on this planet, but today I want to share with you 40 things in art, design, motion picture, and some other cool things. I hope by the end of this video, you will think to yourself at least once, "Uh uh-huh, I didn't think of that. All of the image examples used in this video were generated by me using stable diffusion. If you would like to take a closer look at each one, you can do so on my blog, createxai.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Let's dive in. Let's start with art. The most common thing stable diffusion is used for is simply digital art. There's a lot of different variations of that, one of them being digital painting. Number two, we have traditional painting. Of course, it's just an imitation of it, but nonetheless, the results look pretty impressive. Number three, anime art. There are some incredible anime models out there. And if this is the style you love and are passionate about, you will be able to create some incredible results. Number four, drawing with pencil, pen, ink. We've all played with them at some point in our lives. Now we can do so digitally. Number five, coloring books. You can use stable diffusion to create some images that imitate coloring book looks and then play with them yourself, print them for your kids, or even sell them. Number six, comic style. There are many comic styles, but you can definitely try and imitate the ones that you like and even create your own comic books with AI art which has been done already number seven children's book illustration children books could be your next hobby project hey if it turns out well you can even sell them or create a children's book illustration for your own kids concept art usually used for coming up with characters environments styles and general vibes for video games animations and movies Number nine, character design. Usually standalone characters will look amazing with stable diffusion. When you're talking about these turnaround characters, they will have some inconsistencies, but they're still going to be really great to see the general vibe of the character and potentially what it would look like from all sides. Number 10, 3D art. 3D art takes ages to sculpt, render, model, but you can get a similar effect look with stable diffusion. On one hand, you get a final beautiful piece. On the other, it's not as good or usable as having an actual 3D model. Still, tons of fun to play with. Number 11, stickers. Whether to sell, print, or play pretend, you can generate sticker ideas with stable diffusion. Number 12, abstract art. I won't lie to you and pretend that I understand the deep meaning hidden within some abstract art. Still, I love looking at it. There's something pleasurable about messiness and texture and patterns. So you could make your own abstract art with stable diffusion. Number 13, sculpture. Well, no, not physical sculpture, but you can make a picture of any sculpture you want. You can use it as a reference if you're a sculptor yourself or just for fun. They do look pretty good. Number 14, street art. You could use stable diffusion to see how a mural would look on a building. Sometimes it could be really fun to play with as the one on the right suggests. Number 15, tattoos. You can use stable diffusion to design tattoos or you can use it to see what a particular tattoo would look like on a different part of a body. Number 16, pixelated art. Pixelated art has gotten pretty popular in recent years since, you know, pixels themselves haven't been around for that long. Anyway, you can make some cool pixelated AI art for yourself, use it in a game or an avatar, if that's the style you like. Number 17, cartoon style. Pixar, Disney, and other studios have developed many great cartoon styles. Some will be easier to replicate with AI art than others, but the results are breathtaking. Number 18, fan art. You could make a famous actor or character and place them in a unique situation or see them painted in different art style. I definitely had plenty of fun with the character on the right. I hope you can guess who it is that's holding the big apple. All right, let's talk about design next. Design and art go hand in hand. Art should provoke thoughts, emotions, and ideas while designs have to solve specific problems. Here are just a few design ideas that stable diffusion can lend a hand in. Number 19, logos. 
every new company, website, and business needs a new logo. You could hire a designer, buy one online, or try your luck in generating exactly what you want. Number 20, icons. Icons for phone apps, website buttons, and other elements, and more. Now you can customize and make them all unique for yourself and others with the help of AI. Number 21, book covers, posters, ads. Creating book covers with AI is now extremely easy. All you have to do is come up with an idea for a cover of your book, generate a striking image, and slap some text on it in a different software. Uh, for this example, I used Canva on the right. Number 22, mockups. Mockups for your website, Etsy, or other marketplace listings. I've run a few stores myself in the past, and getting good, unique mockups can be a pain in financial and time wise sense. Now I can generate and use my own, which only helps my store stand out from competition. Number 23, game design assets. If you build your own games, you will have a superb time generating unique items for them with AI. Stable Diffusion can do wonders for your game environments, objects, icons, and so on with the right model, of course. Number 24, t-shirt design. At our time, you can send your designs to print shops and get custom t-shirts and now you can design them to be anything that you want. You can have a whole wardrobe of just unique items that you designed yourself. Number 25, social media posts. You could always AI generate cool photography images of landscapes, cities and objects and post them on Instagram, for example. Fooling your friends about having an extremely interesting life has never been easier. <laughs> 26. Blog post images. If you're a fellow blogger or planning to become one, paying for stock images or looking at royalty-free website is not necessary anymore. We can now generate our own aesthetic images and them being unique is surely a bonus, no? 27. Custom lettering in stable diffusion takes some time to get right, but can be very rewarding. Number 28. Jewelry design. Why not look to AI-generated images for some new ideas for your next jewelry design project? Or just for fun. 29. Fashion design. Another great way to look for new inspiration for fashion designers. Who knows? It might just be what your next address needs. Number 30. Costume design. Fashion is for everyone. Costumes are for movie stars, fantasy photographers, and cosplayers. Definitely fun to generate and imagine all of the cool movies that could have used such great designs. Number 31, furniture design. Stable Diffusion can generate some pretty creative furniture with the right prompting, though comfort guarantee is not included. Number 32, architecture. From new creative buildings to out of this world designs that might not hold their ground for very long, you can rely on AI generated images to create something innovative. Number 33, interior design. Not sure if the new couch will look good in your living room? Generate a few ideas in Stable Diffusion to get a sense of what your or your client's space will look like once you're done with it. Number 34, toy ideas. If you like making toys or just missed your childhood, ask Stable Diffusion to generate the toy you've always dreamed of. Number 35, custom gifts. You could use Stable Diffusion to transform and stylize a photo of one of your relatives or friends, then print it on a card or as an artwork, and I'm sure they will love it. Now let's talk about motion picture. Movies and animations are made up of many images that when put together at high speeds seems like they're moving. It is common to see 12, 24 or 30 frames or images per second. Given that stable diffusion generates images, it's not uncommon to see it evolve into an animation generating machine given you have the patience for it, of course, because it is not easy. Number 36, animations. If you want to see someone go next level with this concept, check out Corridor Crew and their animation film that was generated with AI. It is mind blowing. Definitely worth the watch. But just like myself, you probably don't have a team and lots of dedicated gear, but you can still turn your videos into animation by using the image to image feature with the help of ControlNet or just trying different other stuff. 
Number 37, GIFs or GIFs, whatever you want to call it. And I made these two examples. No, stable diffusion is not quite there yet for generating consistent imagery, but you can still have some fun or some surreal animations to look at. Let's talk about some other uses. For example, number 38, outpainting. Extend images for surprising looks. You can adjust different things, add some extra and extra to it, and basically create an unlimited image if you so choose. Number 39, in painting, change parts of an image to fit your desired look. New face for Mona Lisa or buildings in the background? Your call. Number 40, stylization. Use various prompts and models to create stylized images. I've shown you a similar example with customized gifts, but you can also do it just for funsies. If I haven't mentioned something that you use Stable Diffusion for, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear about your exploits with this magnificent technology that we have. And hey, if you're still here, maybe watch this one next. Cheers!